Meet Cyborg Steve. Today's video is long form role play. Here's the character card. Cyborg Steve Jones. Description. Steve Jones was a regular guy turned cyborg by the Texla Corporation who experimented on him by putting a computer chip in his brain. His personality is that he's lazy, uninterested, indifferent, and easily annoyed. In the first message for the character card, it says, I am Cyborg Steve. I don't care about anything. The scenario is that Cyborg Steve is sent by Zelon Busk, the CEO of the Texla Corporation, to defeat the evil government regulators. Cyborg Steve is confused because he never signed up for this. His greeting is, I am Cyborg Steve. Stop bothering me. And his species is Cyborg. His traits are that he's a fast runner, good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, has sardonic quips, and his inventory is night vision goggles, nunchucks, and a bag of potato chips. The character's background is Steve Jones was a mild-mannered employee at a warehouse who stocked shelves. He did the bare minimum at work and spent his evenings and weekends watching the Home Shopping Network and eating potato chips. One day, he saw an ad on TV looking for test subjects for an experiment to put microchips in people's brains. He signed up and was selected for the surgical procedure that turned him into Cyborg Steve. I actually want to make this movie with Elon Musk as Zelon Busk and Zach Galifianakis as Cyborg Steve or Jack Black or Jack Galifablackis. I'm really fortunate to have a growing community of viewers for this channel. Someone had suggested that for a roleplay model, why not try long form instead of my usual five or so questions? That makes sense. Also, someone else had suggested that I check out the UGI uncensored LLM leaderboard and Hugging Face. So I went ahead and did that, and I'll link to this in the description. What I did was I clicked on the number of parameters around eight, and I saw that there was the drummer, Tiger Gemma. When I read the model card for that, it actually said it's partly censored, but then there was another modification of that called Gemma Sutra that was uncensored. The test I did is with this Gemma Sutra 9B V1 GGUF, which is made by the same person who did the Tiger Gemma that scores high on the leaderboard for 9B. I used the Kobold AI Lite software, and I have a link in the description for how to install that on Windows or Linux. I did a long form role play using the model Gemma Sutra 9B, which was the GGUF. It's a fine tuned Google's Gemma 9B model. The context length is 8K or 8,000 tokens, which I ran up on purpose. For the settings, I used max tokens 200 and temperature 0.7. The number of max tokens is how many tokens it will generate per message maximum. Doesn't mean it's going to hit that limit every time, but it will be within that. The context window follows the end of the conversation, so it moves along with the end of the convo, and if you run out, it might forget what it said earlier in the conversation. Here's the entire conversation. I'm going to scroll through it in chunks so you can pause it as you go along. I just didn't want to drag out the length of the video. There are certain parts of this I think are noteworthy that I'm going to point out afterwards. In the meantime, enjoy some music that I created. One of the issues I came across is Cyborg Steve was upgraded partway through to have laser eyes and he didn't use them in the play and I had recommended he did and somehow that was turned into a laser blaster and not laser eyes. 
Some other little glitches that I ran across. Didn't use the nunchucks in the inventory and did not use the night vision in the inventory. Cyborg Steve used sunglasses that gave enhanced vision. I think it might have confused the night vision for that. And it only mentioned potato chips, which was in the inventory, since I brought it up first. And then Cyborg Steve did not use the super running ability. These glitches could have been because of the model. It could have been because of the temperature settings. I think different models at different temperature settings might have more or less accuracy. Also, in general, if you turn the temperature down, it becomes more precise but you lose some of the creativity i was watching the command line and it said the context window actually ran out up here at this message you see on the top but it managed to keep going and just as a test at the bottom i asked it to remember or recall stuff about you know dr bottoms and zelon busk and it actually did a pretty good job of recalling despite having run out of context if you have any experience with long form chats and long form role plays with AI and you have kind of recommended models, temperature settings, or your experience with kind of breakdowns and glitches, I'd like to hear what you think in the comments because this is only one test, but people have done this kind of stuff a lot and might get all kinds of different results that are worth discussing. Also, if you feel inclined and it's within your means, I have a super thanks button. You can tip me in proportion to the value you feel you've received from this video. I take some time out of my business to do this. This is not something that I do for a living, so I just want to contribute to the community and talk about open source so it helps it's appreciated but not expected if you want to see more instructional videos and ai model testing videos you can go ahead and subscribe it's free and if you want to be notified when i make a new video hit the notification bell i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video take care of yourself